Hello everybody, let's go ahead and get started with a message from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. So here they are. We got TikTok. Clock is ticking. Okay. Time is running out for some of you. You feel like time is running out. You got to stay grounded. Whatever is happening, even though it feels like things are just kind of pushing forward, it's you got to stay grounded, whatever it is. So like tend to the small stuff. Okay. You know, uh, cleaning up, getting rid of stuff for those of you who are moving or planning on moving or traveling. Um, you know, this could be for anything. If it's uh, you starting a new job, is there something that you need to learn? If you want to start a new business, is there a class you need to take? It's like uh, cleaning out the clutter is what I'm getting. Cleaning out the clutter. Spirit, please show me one more for the collective. What messages does the collective need to hear? Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, what do we got? Ah, we're giving up on that never-ending story. I'm going to read that one from the book. All right, bottom of the deck, we've got a change in the wind. So I did talk about someone here moving. It's like you think you're going one way, and all of a sudden you're going to get shifted the next way. Okay, so there's a change in the wind coming. And I feel like for a lot of you, you already knew this was getting ready to happen. So I feel like if you've been stagnant for a really long time or feeling stagnant, I feel like things are shifting for you. And it's like what, like this never ending story. You always feel like, oh gosh, you know, never, this is never going to end. You know, this is always going to be this way. And then all of a sudden this comes in and this is your overall energy. And it's like, mm, no, you're, you're about ready to shift into a whole nother direction. I do want to read the never ending story in the reverse. It's the number 37, um, which adds to a 10 and tens are about completion. So there's something here that you kind of have to, it's almost like you have to wrap it up. Okay. What do we have here? It says, this is a time to avoid drama at all costs, especially when it comes to other people's stuff. Your sensitivity is on overload these days and you're best served by keeping your distance. Your mantra today is not my circus, not my monkeys. All this drama will pass and you will carry on unscathed and blameless. So, you know, for some of you, maybe you're used to people using you as a scapegoat. And this is a point in time where you're just like, you know what? I'm not even going to get involved in this. And it's like, it's time. It's about time you do the right thing for yourself. I want to read the chopped wood um, just because. It says, being grounded in, in everyday experience and humility. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree in the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full bl blossom. The mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to be to let nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. Take your attention away from your goal brings you into a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which brings you ever closer to what you seek. So it's all about being grounded throughout these experiences. For some of you, it's like, you know, you already knew that this was coming. You know, the change in the wind is the number 12. And the number 12 is the... Uh, hanged man, you know, so this is, you know, like I said, if things have felt like they were stagnant, um, I think things are getting ready to change, but there's going to be some type of drama that ensues because of this. So whenever there's some type of upheaval, because we do have the number five here and fives are about change created by outside forces beyond your control. And there's nothing you can do about it. Um, this is, you know, some type of, you know, for some of you feeling all alone, feeling like you have to go at it all alone, but yeah, you know, I just heard, you know, a zebra never changes its stripes. So when it comes to, you know, certain people or situations or, you know, you really need to look at, you know, who these people are and realize like, if people come into your life all the time and all they do is have drama and they create drama and they complain and they're always just, wah, poor me, poor me. I'm always a victim, you know, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Mm, you know what? What are you going to do with people like that? 
you know, you always say, oh, well, that's just their MO. Mm, Not necessarily, because if we actually held people accountable for the way that they treat us or, you know, for always coming into our lives, creating nothing but havoc and chaos, then, you know, eventually people go, wow, maybe I am the common denominator of all the rises and falls in my relationships. Maybe I really should change things up a bit. But they're not going to be able to do that if you don't hold them accountable. So if you're always, you know, well, that's just who they are, you know, oh, well, they've always had a bad life or, you know, making excuses for their negative behavior, then you're correct. These people are always going to have you know, the, the short end of the stick, but, and that's funny because the spirit just showed me the short end of the stick. Um, but if you actually held people accountable and you made them clean up after them, their own messes, and you didn't clean up after them or, or you stop making excuses for why, you know, this is always, you know, the situation, then they're going to have no choice, but to clean up their side of the street. Okay. So I don't know who needs to hear that, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not a Gemini, but with that said, for some of you, this is about communication. For some of you, this is about siblings. For some of you, it could be a cousin. It could be a neighbor. Okay. Your neighbor is always coming over, bitching to you about the same old thing and, you know, the problems. And like I said, it could be any one of those things. And it's like, you know, try and help point them in the right direction you know, of, you know, somebody or something that could help them, you know, and like, and we do that, but then they always have, it's almost like, you know, you come into contact with those people who always have a problem for every solution. (laughs) It's kind of what I'm getting here is like, and for you, you just kind of have to go the opposite way. You know, whatever you've done in the past, you got to do something different because the only way they're going to do something different is if they're, they're, uh, they're shifted, you know, they're shifted into a new direction because what they're used to isn't there anymore. I do have these two cards. Get this of timing. Okay. So we got the clock here and then we have the, oh, what is it called? <laughs> I can't even think of the name. Hourglass. Thank you, spirit. Hourglass here. So it's almost like, you know, somebody's trying to stall when it comes to timing. You know, they're trying to it's almost like they're trying to bleed the, all the way down to the last second, whatever that is meant for. It's like, you're. we'll go in deeper. Let's find out, okay? So, all right, Spirit, please show me. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Ooh. <laughs> so right underneath the TikTok, we got divine timing. You can't even make this up. Everything in due time. Okay. Everything in due time, you know, and for some of you, it's time to shift directions. It's time to go into a new direction. It's time to do something different for others of you. It's time. Like, yeah, we got friendships and union spirit. Please show me what is the chopped wood. Okay. We got two cards. Ooh, we got surrender. Yeah. And then we've got courage and bravery. Ooh, lots of like indigos here. And then we've got self-acceptance. We don't need anybody else to accept us. We just have to accept ourselves. And in the right time, the right people will come along and those people will accept us for exactly who we are, love and appreciate us. You know, you're just being asked to just, you know, let go and let God, let go and let God, you know, when it comes to these people up here, you know what, let go and let God, you know, you just go out and do your own thing. You know, you can choose to do whatever it is that you want to do, but at the end of the day, These people have their own mission and their own, you know, consequences to their actions. And it's going to take a lot of um, stamina. I just heard stamina for you to, you know, maneuver in a different way. This is about you maneuvering in a different way. For some of you, this is you getting ready to start a new job and you got to get ready. I see someone here going from, you know, not having to wear a uniform to all of a sudden having to wear a uniform. I don't know who that's for. Um, I want to read. Let go and let God, you know, with the surrender. Let go and let God. That's what I hear. Let go and let God. 
If you're feeling overwhelmed or emotional at this time, your angel guide wants you to know it's okay to let go. When you open up and release your concerns, you open up to support the mir support and miracles. It's okay to let go. Tend to the small stuff. Tend to the small stuff. If you're waiting on something that's really big, you're waiting on a relationship, you're waiting on a job, tend to the tiny things. You know, if you're waiting, like, you know, people, they get this niggling that, you know, they know that it's time to move. But what, like, whenever I know that spirit's going to have me move, you know what I do? I just start putting stuff in boxes. I put everything in boxes until they show me where else to go. So basically what I'm doing is I'm living off of the bare minimum of all the things that I need to use. And then at the very last minute, when I don't need them anymore, I throw them all in the same box, you know? So I only have one, maybe two boxes left that I have to pack up on my way out. And it's usually curtains and the last of the dishes that I used in my toiletries. So, you know, like start tending to the small stuff because once you do that, um, all of a sudden everything starts shifting for you. It's like put yourself into alignment for it. Um, you are a vessel and you, you contain light. Your concerns are taking up space and when you release them, you make room for more light. Well, people will be like, well, you know, if I'm packing up, well, where am I going? Well, all you know is you're going somewhere. So just pack it up. <laughs> okay. Um, let them go now. This is a time to experience the freedom that you deserve. You don't have to do this alone. God and angels are ready to help you. Call in the angels and invite them to help you surrender and release anything could, that could be blocking your experience of miracles. To help them usher positive energy into your life, ask yourself what, they, what you need to let go of in order to grow and then take action on it. Okay? So, and it's going to, you know, to take action on something, it takes, you know, it's, it's scary to do those things. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Thank you. I'm watching some dogs. Um, so yeah, you just kind of have to really, you know, hone in your angels. Your angels are here to remind you that your soul cannot be tarnished or harmed. So regardless of, you know, say that there's this person up here that we were talking about earlier that always has the same shit, just different day. Basically, you're untouchable. <laughs> no matter what this person says, because, you know, sometimes people will hold on longer past the expiration date because they're worried about what other people will say, you know, or, ooh, this person, you know, they might have dirt on you that you think maybe that could be, you know, harmful to your reputation. No, they don't. You know, at the end of the day, even if they did, so what? You know, we all have skeletons in the closet and eventually those skeletons are going to get, you know, they're, they're going to be put out there into the forefront. So what? Okay. Now the skeleton's out of the bag. Anything else? Like your deepest, darkest fear came true. What else? Now you've matched that. You've, you've found that. Okay. You found that you can actually overcome that. So now what? Um, it's the one part of your essence that always remains whole, healed, and complete. So if you're feeling the need to defend yourself at this time, angel wisdom is guiding you to back down. You don't need to protect yourself, especially when you have spiritual support. Call on the light of God, heaven, and the angels to protect you. Yeah, this person, you know, again, this is a never ending story. It's like every single time, you know, this person does the same thing over and over again and over and over again, you give them an excuse or you say, well, I can't say anything because they've got this on me or, you know, because of this or they helped me with this or, you know, and the thing is, is that's not helping you. That's actually hindering you. Okay. So if you feel that you have made a mistake or have something that you need to share, be brave and take ownership of it. Trust that living with integrity will always lead to the greatest possible unfolding of your life and know that the best gift that you can give the world at this time is your truth. So just speak your truth. And then once you actually come clean, all of a sudden, this other person has nothing holding, you know, to hold over you anymore. Now what? <laughs> so it's time. And this is about you accepting yourself as you are. We all have issues. We all have problems. We've all gone through things. We've all done things that we're not proud of, you know, 
but it's going back and accepting yourself and just surrendering it to, you know, God, universe, you know, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and just saying, hey, help me carry this pain, you know, help me release this, you know, and then once you accept that part of yourself, all of a sudden you become unfuckwithable. Nobody can ever touch you again. I actually like that. All right. So any other messages, spirit? Any other messages? Be insightful and established. It says number 49. 49 adds up to 13. 13 is about death, decay, and destruction. Endings, completions, finalizations, but it's also rebirth. And then it drops to the number four. Four is all about structure, stability, foundation, family. It can be stagnancy. But it says ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or the future. So once you come clean about whatever this is and just accept it, you know, that we all make mistakes, um, all of a sudden everything just starts to shift for you and, you know, you're able to rid yourself of, you know, these people and, you know, these situations and all of a sudden, and it's because you finally, um, you know, delved into your, your own superpower and you had it all along. It just took this situation for you to actually figure it out. Anyway, whatever this means for you guys, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. And we'll chat again soon. Take care.